to add the learner authorship submission statement for learners to the ePortfolio template, it's very simple. So all you need to do is go to the learner that you want to start populating. So in this case, I'm going to look at Sam here. So just click on the drop down arrow, click on Sam's portfolio of assessment. I'm going to focus on the interpersonal communication section here. So just click the drop down and then click on the authorship submission page. So this is where I want to print my authorship statement to. So I have the assignment that I want to um, populate into the Learner ePortfolio template open in the Teams desktop app. So we recommend that you ask students to submit the Learner Authorship Submission Statement with their evidence for the assessment. It just makes it easier to keep it together and it's good practice that the, the learners um, sign off that the work is their own on the submission statement and submit it together with their evidence. So I'm just going to go ahead and click into hand it in and I just have um, a sample statement that I just completed myself. So don't worry that the annotations look a little bit off and they're not exactly in line. What we're going to do is just go ahead and click on file and print. Print this document and then just go ahead and click open PDF. So from here, it doesn't matter um, what PDF viewer you're using. Simply select OneNote for Windows 10 from the dropdown. So you can click on that arrow just to, to select it. And then you'll see that um, my annotations have lined up. So that will happen. And then just go ahead and click print. Now, because I had been on the page in OneNote, my little OneNote for Windows 10 icon on my taskbar is flashing. I'm just going to click on it going to click on the page that I wanted to go to, which is my current page, click OK. And then the learner authorship submission statement will print itself nice and neatly onto the page.